wakati huo nilia, niliandikwa kama postal officer. Mm -hmm. Postal officer mshahara ilikuwa kidogo sana. Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa karibu shilingi was it 30000 mm -hmm. za nyumba 15 sijui live allowance ngapi pesa kidogo mm -hmm. but you, you, to, to me that time it was a lot of money ili nisaidie nikasomesha watoto wetu wengine mm -hmm. nini kabla ni wale some of the memories eh. then unakumbuka ukiwa shuleni eh. ni kama zipi kabla hatuja kwenda katika maisha ya kufanya kazi eh, tukiwa shule mm -hmm. eh, tukiwa shule nilikuwa napenda debate sana na mm -hmm. drama ah anilikuwa kama mtoto katukutu kidogo hivi wakati tunasema mtoto katukutu what do you mean what do you mean what do you mean mtoto mtukutu kuna wakati mwalimu wetu mmoja alikuja wa history na nilikuwa nampenda sana alikuwa anaitwa madam weche weche alikuwa amevaa kamini kamini skirt na sisi tukana mimi na mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Sara Were watoto wa shule tu unajua you are being looked at as the ring leaders so we, we, we wanted to show her that she should put on she's a long dresses one she she's coming so what we did to kachukua three legged kid sit we put for her because you know she, she used to come and sit all the time whenever she enters the class she could sit so whenever she, when she went and sat she wakaanguka <laughs> Are you for real? Ndio kwambia nikiwa shule nilikuwa kama And you are not. Nilikuwa not girl. Akaanguka. And I grew up in boys so I was a not girl. Another memory yenye unakumbuka kati kati hiyo that is an interesting one. Another memory what was that? Another memory also we refused another teacher when when she came to class she got us all of us asleep. We, 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 knew she was was ring lead. we knew she was just coming in. <laughs> so what we did? I I signaled there was a signal. You know there's a signal you do. So I did the signal and everybody slept on their desk because <laughs> we wanted to go home. <laughs> but they refused us to go home. Now that was an opportunity we went home. All right. Yeah. Wakati ambapo ulijipata umemaliza shule umeajiriwa. Uh, when did you get Mr. Right? How did you get Mr. Right? Um that's why I, I, I want to encourage nataka ni encourage our young youngsters. Eh uh, wakati nilikuwa nimeandikwa <laughs> Kenya Post and Telecommunication mm -hmm. na account yangu account yangu ya kuweka pesa ikawa Barclays. Uh -huh. So I went to Barclays Bank uh -huh. uh, Kisumu. Uh -huh. So somebody was selling because I remember when we were this school Kenya Post and Communication School nowadays is the University of um, uh -huh. Communication. Uh -huh. This one uh, on Magadi Road mm, before Ongai. Ah before Ongai. Yes, naikumbuka lakini ina inaenda pia. Yes. This uh, co college in our university uh -huh. it used to be only for tele Kenya post and communication staff mm -hmm. it was changed and now it is a university mm -hmm. when we were training there one of the lecturers used to tell us where you are working you know post officer you start from the counter where you are working you'll make friends you'll make enemies yes and uh, you'll be known by so many people mm -hmm. i remember by then by being known by so many people I remember mwangale was the minister he came to for service where I was mm -hmm. and I said this person I normally see him this must be uh, a government officer mm -hmm. official mm -hmm. so I served him well and he recognized me he said me, hey my girl you're a good girl yes uh, he didn't know that I'm a very naughty girl mm -hmm. okay then I went to Kisumu backless here is a young man who served me so well mm -hmm. and I said hey this young man is very good he served me very fast mm -hmm. he asked me for my number and, and you exchanged and, and those days we didn't have mobiles mm -hmm. we were having a uh, post hey, yeah, guru, guru. <laughs> <laughs> guru, guru. <laughs> and being an employee I was lucky in my small room house I, I, I put one mm -hmm. so I gave mm -hmm. I gave him that number so in the evening I'm in the house I hear it ringing I pick he's the one you remember me I served you at Backlands can we meet by then I'm in Bungoma station in Bungoma I said what's wrong with this guy <laughs> I banged the receiver back. Mm -hmm. But the guy was determined. Mm -hmm. After a few hours he rang. Mm -hmm. Said this person is disturbing me. Mm -hmm. I picked. Mm -hmm. with, oh, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you mm -hmm. when to meet. Mm -hmm. And it just went like that. The rest is history. The whole month mm -hmm. got finished. I went back mm -hmm. month end for the, my salary. Mm -hmm. And then he said, I I've tried to ring you you never pick my calls. I said, ah, sometimes when I'm not in. And you know, being not in those days 
was very good. When you don't want to talk to somebody, you just take the receiver, put aside. And you let they, them. They will call, call, they won't <laughs> get you. <laughs> but he was determined to he have you. He was determined mm -hmm. until I had to give him. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the rest is history. How many kids do you have? Well, uh, in your family. I have many, but biologically I have three sons. Mm -hmm. 